Hi guys, Angie Bell with my fairy treasures. Okay guys, I'm coming at you with some more fun on the jelly plate. Um, I went to Dollar Tree recently. Let me take this off, this cover off my jelly plate. Um, I went to Dollar Tree recently and I found a ton of the uh, those removable t uh, t tile decals that I um, that I showed you guys last week. So, and I and I was making um, the texture boards out of them for the jelly plate. So I just thought I want to share the ones that I just got, and I made a bunch up. Um, so keep checking your Dollar Tree if you can't if you haven't found those yet. Um, yeah, I can put this on here. So um, this is a set that I found. I found this set here. And we're going to make this. I'm going to create this really quickly. And then we're going to pull a bunch of uh, uh, prints with the other plates that I got. So I got this. This is the one that we'll create. The board will create. The texture plate we'll create today. Okay. You need one and a half if you do it on like a book or a piece of uh, canvas board or like a, lar a nice large book. Which is about the size of a... Just estimating, you don't have to be perfectly nine by like nine by eleven. Okay, you'll have a really nice size texture plate. Okay, so this is the one I'm gonna make with you guys today, just so anybody who didn't see my video last week knows how you put this texture plate together with these. This is what they're called removable tile decals. Okay, they're usually in the craft section at Dollar Tree. So, um, let me just show you the ones I already used this one because I was playing around, but I found this one. I mean, they totally replaced almost all of the tiles. I was so excited. I think there was one thing I was, maybe one I was missing. Isn't that cool? So we're going to play with these. And we're going to create that wallpaper look. I love, besides, okay, you guys know I try to make prints that look like old walls. But besides the prints that look like old walls, I love the like vintage-y looking wallpaper. And a lot of these things look like vintage wallpaper to me. So when we play with these, it's going to be really cool. I'm trying to bend it up so that the shine from my light over here doesn't keep shining on it. This one I couldn't find two of. So whenever I do find this, I'm going to, so I just put this on the bottom. So this will be on the bottom. This is the bottom of another one. But when I find this one again, I'll buy two of them and make a complete one with this. But this is kind of cool. This is another way to do your texture plates. Take them and mix them up. Do one thing at the top and one thing here. That's why you need one and a half. Because you need one and then a half fits on the bottom. But hopefully I find another one of these so I can make um, one and a half of the whole thing of this. Because I think that's going to look really cool. Um, and then this one you guys saw me do last week. That's the other half of this one on the bottom. See? But anyway. You guys saw this one last week. Okay. So, let's get started. Let me just, let's quickly make one of these together. So, um, this is a, um, a lot of times I use, these are books. Well, okay, these are books. But one side is an old texture plate that I made that didn't work out. So I used the other side of the book, pay, uh, the uh, book cover and did this one, okay? So, and this is a piece of canvas board. They have some 11 by 17 canvas boards at Dollar Tree right now. I was thinking I should have got some. I might go back and get them before somebody else. They're, they're on the bottom shelf, so somebody, a lot of people are probably going to pass by them, but okay. A lot of times I think, oh, I don't know what I want to do with that. But then I think, oh, I want that. I, I, I should, I should just get it. If I think that I'm going to. If I'm attracted to it and I think I want it, I should just get it, even if I don't know what I'm going to do with it at the time. Because what happens is I usually figure it out, and then I go back to get it, and it's not there. Okay, so let's just line this up with the top. This is how simple it is, you guys. Simple. And the stickiness is pretty sticky. So it sh I haven't had a problem with them coming off. Okay, so this one I only need a half. And then I put the other half back on. And you guys, I have um, every Sunday at 2 o'clock uh, Pacific time, I live in Las Vegas, um, we have a craft and art, an art and craft with me. 
So come join us. It's really, really fun. In fact, people are saying it's more like a like a little fun party every Sunday for two hours. So it's from like two to four. We have giveaways. So I give away some cool stuff. And everybody is just so chatty and just has a good time. So and you could craft along or do your dishes and, and watch and talk to everybody. However you want to do it. It's a lot of fun. We're having fun. Um, so then this was also another texture plate that I didn't really like. So I just went ahead and used the other side. So I wanted to show you guys that too. If you make some texture plates and they don't work out, or you make some texture plates and um, that you don't like, then just use the other side and make another texture plate. And last week I showed a video of how to make a texture plate like this. This is nothing but a stencil. So you put a stencil over your board or your um, book cover. It doesn't have to be a book cover or a uh, canvas board. It can be whatever hard surfaces you have hanging around in your room. Anyway, in your craft room or your art studio. Um, so you put the um, stencil down and you take, um, oh, what do you call it? It's right here. You take some, um, oh, damn it. I hate when I can't think of the name of things. Uh, molding paste. And you put it through the stencil. You could do a lightweight spackle. Either one of those and um, do either one of those and uh, put it through and then let it dry. And now you have yourself a texture plate. I have tons of them. Okay. So then, so now I have one and a half so I can make another texture plate, right? But what I'm going to do with these is I'm actually going to be giving these away next week. Or not next week, this Sunday at the um, Art and Craft with me. At 2 o'clock from 2 to 4 Pacific Time. So come join us. It's fun. Okay, so then this is what this one turned out like. Isn't that fun? Look how beautiful that is. So make sure you check your Dollar Trees to see if they get these, um, these uh, wall decals in. They're more, they're, they're called Peel and Stick Removable Tile Decals by Main Street. They're fabulous. Okay, so let's start playing. Let's start playing. All right, I have this teal one because I've been like, I've been, oh, this is what I did also. I went and I just did like a single or a double color, just something to be solid. I find that when I use these, these type of things. Like I'm going to use this one first. When I use these type of uh, texture boards, I love a base color on it first and then put this on top and you get that wallpaper effect. So that's what we're going to try to create today is that wallpaper effect. Also, when you get a buildup of, um, when you get a, um, yeah, I want this. When you get a buildup of paint on there, that's when you can start creating the um to get stuff off your plate you can start creating that um old wall look and you'll see that towards the end um i'm gonna use this color here it's a martha stewart like bronze color metallically bronze color i've had this for years you guys i was at home depot and they were selling them for like two bucks on clearance look how much i have i've had it forever okay So since I can't squeeze it out, I'm using my little my spatula. Clean that off on the plate so we don't waste any paint. Waste as little as possible. <clears throat> so I put I did I did a sample of this and it turned out gorgeous. So I mean, to make the um, texture plates out of the, uh, those wall decals, those wall tile decals, you guys, it's so simple and quick. Like, you'll have, you don't have to wait like you have to do with the molding paste. You just have instant um, texture plates. I'm so glad I thought of that. I mean, I don't know. Somebody else could have thought of it too, but it wasn't something. Usually I've seen something on a video. Or I got inspiration. I thought of that on my own. Like I said, I'm not saying I created it because there could be somebody else that's out there that's already done it. So I don't try to claim that I create anything because so much stuff can already be out there. Okay, so I'm going to take this plate, this one, 
It's not gorgeous. And let's put this on here. And like I said, this was a texture plate that I put a stencil on and then put the um, molding paste through. Um, and it didn't work out. So don't worry about it. Take it, go to the other side, either do another stencil and some other molding paste. And you can use lightweight spackle from Dollar Tree. Um, and then just redo it. So you don't waste it. Okay. Give it a good press. Okay. Perfect. Let's do another one on this side so we have everything covered. Give a good press. And you do need a good press. Just really make sure you have it pressed down good. So you get a good impression. Okay. Perfect. Voila, look how pretty that looks. That looks gorgeous itself. Okay. And I'm going to put the one, the turquoise piece. I'm really enjoying doing um, jewel tone colors. Like really fall colors, really jewel tone colors. Really rich. I'm really loving it. And I love turquoise and like bronze or turquoise and brown or turquoise and rust. I think that's really beautiful. So exciting. Another thing I'm doing is I'm taking um, like magazine pages and I'm using that as my uh, roll off sheet. And then these have a solid uh, background on them and then you can print on top of these. <clears throat> and a lot of people have magazines all around their house. So those are really good to print on. Okay, this one didn't come out. Okay, I'm going to show you the other one. This isn't bad, but it's not really that great. I probably didn't put enough paint on here because I want to show you how the other one turned out. I'll do another one. I'm going to put a lot more paint on. See this one, how it turned out? Let's see if you guys can see. It turned out really, really nice. Um, can you guys see that? Let me see. Put it down here. Hopefully you guys can see that. Okay, there we go. I'm going to turn it away from the light. See how cool the print looks on there? See how cool that turned out? So this one didn't turn out like that. And what I think happened is I don't think I have enough um, paint on here. So let's, let's do it again. And let's put more on here. When you use a texture plate, it does pull a lot of paint off. So, okay. So I think this time we'll have enough paint on here. And it could be this too. Um, I put my plate away and it's probably been a good hour, 45 minutes. And your plate gets dry. So the more moisture plate, the more you work with it, the better prints you get. So it could be my plate's a little dry too. So adding more paint will, I think, help solve the issue. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think we'll get a good, we'll get a good print out of this. And I want to use a new sheet, so. But let's use that same print. No, let's use a different print. I'm going to use the same one. Let's use another one. Let's go with that one. I've already shown you how it looks if I use that one. So let's just go, let's just go for a different one. so cool when you do that all right so let's hopefully hope that this comes out that uh and if it doesn't no major you can always 
uh, print over it again. You can um, you can pull and just make it solid again and start all over again. So we'll see. It's pretty cool. Not exactly what I wanted, but it's cool. Look at you see some prints on there. Not as strong as the other ones, but pretty cool. You know what I like? Let me tell you what I like. I do like this right here. And I do like this would be something cool to tear out. This right here could be something cool to tear out. So, okay. Let's keep going. We're going to try this one one more time. I'm going to go back to that to the tile that I had before. And we're going to try that one. Okay. And when you're doing these ones that you want to kind of create wall, that wallpaper look, you do need to put a lot of paint on your... This is what I'm finding. You have to put a lot of paint because you're removing a lot of paint off of your plate. Let me show you my roll-off, how cool my roll-off is looking. This is that magazine page. See? That looks cool. Okay. So we're going to go back to this one. And then we'll move on with the plates. We're going to go back to this one. And then we will move on. Okay. Oh my God, you guys, I've been so addicted to the jelly plate. Have you guys noticed? I've made so much cool papers. Oh my gosh. And I do a lot of mixed media myself on Sundays um, in the um, in the group when we all meet up. So come and, you know, hopefully get inspired. And I use my jelly prints. So this this looks good. This, this impression looks really good. Okay. We get a good impression in there. <sighs> okay. Perfect. I think that's going to look good. So, we're going to do this one again. Here we go. Really well. Alright, here we go. I think it came out nice. Love it. This is what I'm talking about. See that design in there? Doesn't that look like wallpaper, you guys? Like old wallpaper? This one isn't as clean here, but it's probably because um, I had some stuff on there before, but it's still cool. It looks very old wall, so I'm, I'm totally happy with all of it. This looks very old wall, like chipped up paint kind of like faded chipped up paint and then this looks like wallpaper so I have all that on one I'm very happy with that we got the old wall look on one side and the wallpaper on the other side so yeah I'm happy with that all right I'm going to take one of these oh actually I'm going to take a beige piece if I don't have um I love to use a beige piece of paper. It kind of gives you a head start. So I'm going to use this to get this off. <clears throat> and this is a piece that I'm going to keep adding to. And I'll probably I'll try to get the old wall look on this one. Okay. So this need this is 
God, my plate's dry. Okay, I'm going to take this uh, gold color here. This is uh, rose gold. I'm going to get the plate all juiced up again with that. You can use also like a beige or a um, off-white color to do this also to clean up your plate. But we're going to try to get some old wall look. But you can use the metallic colors too to do this. This is my roll off. This is looking really cool. I'm really digging that. The reason I like this, do it using a color like this, is giving you um, less white background. But sometimes white can be cool too. But just both. Just use both. Use white. Use something that's maybe a little beigey. Experiment with both for sure. See? Now we're getting that old wall look. Look how I'm picking up all that stuff off of there. Look how cool. I even love that right there. Love that. Love that. Let me go pick up the stuff over here on this side. Very cool. Look how cool that looks. That looks so old wall. All right, let me see if I can pick up anything else off of this plate. And I like because my plate's getting juicier too, so. Anything else over here? This is what I do with the, when I was cleaning the plate off. Look at the old wall look. Love this. That looks like some seriously old wallpaper that's been just old torn and aged very cool love it okay we're gonna go on to another color all right so now we have and i've been printing on the magazine sheets on the magazine papers cool huh especially if we're going to do something solid you might as well you can cover these magazines you, magazines pages everyone has these by the truckloads so We're going to print on this. I'm going to see what color we're going to use. What are we going to use? Um, I want to use gold and I want to use black. Let's use gold first. Oh. All right, you guys, sorry. I'm going to have to bang on this a little bit to get it open. Sorry, plug your ears. I know that was annoying, sorry. But it works every time. Just crack the seal on your paint. Okay, so it's this gold color here. I know it's a lot of paint, but when you're doing um, when you're trying to do like an old wallpaper look, I've noticed that you've really got to put a nice amount on your plate. This is so good too. Like you have a ton of, a lot of us have a lot of acrylic paint. This is so good for um, those of us have so much acrylic paint that we need to use it. Because eventually if you don't use all that your acrylic paint, it's going to dry out. So... Okay, that was a lot of paint on that. Let me just roll over this real light. Oh, that looks cool. Look at that. 
rolling. That's that brown I had. Done with that one. I like it. Get a new roll off sheet. Okay. Next, we're going to use this one. And this used to be one that I didn't, I didn't end up liking all these leaves. So, but if I ever decide I do like these leaves or I want these, I have, I have this texture plate on the other side. Or you can just always do it. Put one texture plate on one side and a different one on the other side. So you don't waste your, the other side of the board. I just thought about that. So I'm going to always double do every texture plate from now on. So I don't waste the other side. Okay. Nice. And then let's do this. Looks like some good impressions were made in that, so we will soon see. Okay. All righty. So we're going to use this color here. It's kind of like a whiny type of brick color, kind of a whiny brown, a whiny a brown red so I guess wine <clears throat> kind of like my nail polish oh I need to redo my nails so bad there's more than time to redo them all right let's bring it up See what we got. Oh, this, I think this is going to look cool. Yes. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I love it. Doesn't that look so like old wallpaper? Like a Grecian wallpaper. Oh my gosh. Phenomenal. Love it. <clears throat> I think I'll be making, I'll be making people crazy like wanting to go and get these wall tiles <laughs> make sure you get um you get two to make a texture plate these would make great gifts too especially if you picked up just to make it look really nice and clean um picked up some um canvas boards at dollar tree while you're there and make up some of these and give us gifts For your friends who love mixed media or love jelly printing. Cool. You can't really see this design on here because it's in gold. But I'm just going to keep using this one to clean my plate and create that old wall look. So this is just one layer on here for the old wall. So I'm just picking up whatever's left on this plate. Okay, so we'll keep playing with this one. We set that aside. Um, let's go to another plate. Oh, let's, we're gonna stick with the same wine color. Let's go to a different plate. And, well, don't wanna put a different color on here. Um, I put a gold on here last time. Let's put on here this. A copper color. And the paints I'm using, this is a, a deco art. The last time I used this one. This I got for, this was like a $6 bottle of paint. I got it for like $1.50 last year at Hobby Lobby when they have that clearance. This I got a long time ago. Um, oh, I got this at Hobby Lobby too a couple of years ago. Or it might have been last year. I think it's been a couple. I think it's been two years. They always have that clearance. Usually starting in January. But they haven't started it yet. 
um, which I'm kind of surprised, but they clearance out and they used to start in the craft section. So make sure that you visit your Hobby Lobby at least once a week and see if that's happening or keep, make sure you're looking out on videos because uh, our fellow YouTube friends will let us know that the 75% off has started. And they usually start in the craft section first and then they go to, um, then they go to the fine art section. And then in July, the first week of June, they, do, they clearance all the yarn. Oh my God, that's the best sale ever. <clears throat> I have, my yarn collection is so huge because of that. I don't even buy, I don't even buy yarn all year round. I just buy it then. And I have way more yarn than I'm ever gonna use, so I really need to stop buying yarn at that yarn clearance. But it's hard because it's like Dollar Tree prices. The yarn is like somewhere between five or seven or eight dollars a skein or a ball, if you want to call it. And um, I'm picking it up for a dollar, dollar twenty-five, a dollar fifty. Yeah, Dollar Tree prices. So it's hard. But I am running out of room for all my yarn, so <clears throat> we'll see if I don't buy any this year. I said I wasn't going to buy any. I've done this. Um, I've been doing it for three years now. That big yarn clearance in June. First week of June. Okay. Oh, I didn't show you the plate. Well, you'll see the plate afterwards. impression over here I'll show you guys my latest uh, collage background and then one of my Angie's Angels I drew and um, for the focal point so I'll have to show it to you guys here before the video ends how much time do we have we've been on here for Oh, we've only been here for half an hour. Good. We're doing good. I usually try to go longer than an hour, but sometimes I even go an hour and a half. <clears throat> okay. Oh. So, we have this one again. Let's do this. What do we got going on? Okay, now this one's not as as clear as this one, as that one, but it has some good impression, some good texture in it. It could be one that I could do over again, or it could just be used really as textural. So, not my favorite, but there's some texture on it. So, I'll look, throw it down, let it dry, and then maybe print it all back over it, or we may not. Okay, so now let's go back to this piece of paper here that I'm just picking up excess to create that old wall look. Oh, you know what? To clean this plate, let's let's go in with this color here. This real taupey beige color. I love this. 
And this is going to pick up a bunch of stuff off the plate. <clears throat> and just because one plate doesn't come out exactly what you like the first time, use it again. Use it three or four more times because it might... It, it could be the color that you chose. It could be your plate not being um, sticky enough. There's just so many things. So, so let's just put this on here and start picking up off the plate. Let's see what we have left down here. Okay, all we got is beige, and so we've covered a lot of stuff up. <laughs> but it's okay. This is just our cleanup page, so we'll just keep hitting it until we start getting some stuff on there that we like. And I keep going at angles so we don't get too many, um, like like a major line. Just want to pick stuff up off this plate. Oh, cool. Okay, we're starting to get there. Look how we're starting to pick up little bits and stuff off of here. So let's keep working on that. Okay, next. I'm gonna go with a different color. All right, let's go with this um, purple. I'm very interested to see what this is gonna do. So this purple right here, how nice and deep it is. I think on the purple before I've done, um, let's do gold. And then we're gonna do this coppery color on it too. But we'll do the gold first. And I can't tell you how it feels, how good it feels to be using all this paint because I have, um, I have so much acrylic paint. It's ridiculous because whenever I see paint on clearance or something, I pick it up. So way more paint than I'll probably ever use but now that I'm jelly printing all the time I'm using it so I'm excited yay what if I need a little bit more let me just throw a tad bit more on here just a tad there we go yeah this will probably be good right here Move over. There we go. All right. Next printout. I want to try this one. nice impression in there. Oh, so that's the one we used. Now we're going to use this nice deep 
purple piece of paper that we jelly printed on. Oh, fabulous. Look at that. Is that that cool wallpaper look or what? Fabulous. And I'm just going to leave this strip of purple over here because that could be a strip that I could cut out and use in a collage also. Looks so rich. Oh, I just love it. Okay. That's beautiful. All right, let's... Now let's leave that on the plate and then let's um, just put the gold, this um, coppery color. Again, it's deco art. Again, this is another one that I got, like I said, at the Hobby Lobby clearance. Probably picked it up for a dollar. Well, it says right here, I picked it up for two. It was nine dollars. I picked it up for two fifty. And this is why I have so much paint because um, I either wait till paint goes on sale and I buy it or when it's on clearance, I definitely buy it. I don't ask myself, oh, do I need paint? No, I just buy it because <laughs> otherwise this would have been $9, this paint, but I spent $2.50, so that's a good deal. It's hard to pass up. And if you're going to be jelly printing, you're going to use it. So, Also, Dollar Tree has acrylic paints. You guys, I've used them, and they're great for the jelly plate. So pick those up. Make sure you get the acrylic and not the um, tempera. Don't get that. Get the acrylic paint. Sorry, I hit my thing. Okay. Um, let's go with this board. Let's see what we get. we're going to do another purple and get my purple sheet out. Ooh, this one. Okay. So we're getting a nice little sampling of all of our texture plates that we've made out of the decal wall tiles. that up. Get that out of the way. Okay, lift that up. That's that one. We're using this deep purple. This is the Master's Touch Purple. I think I have it right here in front of me. It's this right here. They're $12.99, but if I buy these big, huge things, I wait till they're 50% off, so I can pick them up about six bucks. And that's the deep purple, and it's Master's Touch. So, those are really nice acrylics. I buy them in the fine art section, so they're more like fine artist paint, acrylic paints. They're nice and thick. Oh, I love it. Look how gorgeous that is. Again, it's beautiful. Very pretty wallpaper. Love it. Love it. 
Um, I got one more to do that we haven't done yet. We're going to do this one. Okay. Um, I want to clean the plate with something that's going to really add to this old wall look over here. We got a lot of stuff on the plate. So let's do this putty. I love that putty color. Let's do um, some brown. It's just some dark coffee brown. Some of that, and then let's do some red oxide type of color, some rust. Okay. Again, this is all master's touch. This is called red ochre, and this is called warm gray. I don't know why this is gray. It's not look gray at all. It's like a putty color. It's something gray about it. It's beautiful. I love it. I love a good putty color like that. I see a little, I'm gonna break that up a little bit. There we go. This looks really cool. We're gonna leave it like that. That was my roll off sheet. Once I, I just roll and roll over my sheet. And as soon as I like how it looks, then I throw it on the ground so that we can use that. Very cool look. So let's just keep hitting this in different angles, seeing what we can get off this plate. Very cool. Now I'm liking this. See how much cool little bits we have on here. Very old wall looking. I would even love to throw like some leftover teal in this or something. So this is cool. I can leave it like this, but I'm going to put it to the side because I'd love to throw some teal in that. Okay. Um, what else do I want to do? Um... Oh, the last one that I want to do, I might do two more. Yeah, I'll do two more, but anyway, is this red. These deep red. Again, oh, this is paper. This is the magazine here, but I want to use this one. Okay. So I love on that red color using this coppery color. I've done it before and it turned out really cool. So we'll see how this turns out. We will see. a little bit more paint on there. Okay. 
And my roll-off sheet. There we go. Alrighty, so now we have this texture board. Okay. I'm not going to touch this side because so I'm going to do something with that. I've got something interesting to do with that. Okay. So we got that. Let's go to this. You guys, you want to do something relaxing for a couple of hours. Especially if you're kind of stressed out, even when you're not stressed out, but if you're stressed out, just go in your room and your art studio, or your craft room, and just play with your jelly play. It's relaxing. It's fun. Don't stress yourself out with perfect outcomes because you're not really in control of it. You can do techniques, but it doesn't always come out. But there's always some part of it that maybe that you like will come out. Or you can just, like I said, just re-jelly plate over it. No major. Oh my God, this is gorgeous. Okay, look at this. Isn't that beautiful? Look how beautiful that is. I, I'm tilting it because the light hits it and then it blocks it out so you can't see it. Isn't that pretty? Absolutely love this. Isn't that gorgeous? Absolutely love this. This is like a any type of red or wine or burgundy color with copper always comes out beautifully. So remember that. Always just comes out really, really nice. Love it. Um, oh, on this plate, I want to add, remember I told you I wanted to add a little bit of, like, I'm going to add a little teal and a little brown. Teal, a little brown, and a little of this, I want to call this Celadon because, um, Robin McClendon, she always calls the, the color. She has a color that she gets. I think it's a Golden's color. I think it's Golden's. I'm not sure. And she calls it Celadon. I think that's what the name of it is. And that reminds me of that Celadon color that she uses all the time. And I really liked it, like it too. That Celadon color is really pretty. Oh, this is gorgeous. Just my roll-off is cool. Let me show you my roll-off page. And I'm done. Look at my roll-off page. Isn't that cool? Look at that. It's an old wall. And any text that comes up through it just looks even more cool. Love it. Okay, so. We're doing this one here. I'm just going to pull it on, rub it, and take it right off. See? I knew that was going to look cool. Very cool. Now I'm done. That's all I wanted on there was just that. Look how old wall that looks. Love it. All right, we're done with that. Now we've got a lot of information still left in this plate. We're going to put this putty color on here again and pick up a bunch more stuff. I think off of this plate. So when your plate starts getting really dirty like this, this is when you can start creating some old walls. There's other ways to create old walls too, but 
talking when you're creating wallpaper. After a while, you keep just things just keep building on the up on the plate. Um. Oh, I want to get a new sheet. So let me get. new sheet like this. Let's see what we pick up off the plate. Again, just one quick swipe. Pretty. See how you start getting some really cool stuff off of here? And this is just cleaning off my plate. There's just so much stuff on the plate and you just don't even know what's on here. It's gonna go like this. So cool. Now this is one I would still keep working on. But look at all the cool stuff you're getting off of this plate. So much coolness. You could even be done with it right there because that's really cool to rip apart. That could be really cool to rip out. Over here could be really cool to rip out. So. I think I still will leave this to work on though. Okay. Um, I'm trying to say there's one more that I want to do. Yes, I do want to experiment. This, it, this is a like sagey green color. But it doesn't come out like a sagey green. It comes out like, I don't know what like a sagey muddy color but this is like a sage color isn't that pretty i'm trying to think of well we'll do both uh, let's do i want to do, i think i want to do gold on here and see what the gold does Um, I'm going to choose something else for my plate. Um, let's go. Let's go with this one again. And like I said, any of them that didn't come out exactly how I wanted them, it could have been the color I chose. It could have been, um, <clears throat> it could have been the plate itself, but it also could have been that my uh, jelly plate at the time wasn't juicy enough. So just always give things more than one chance. Okay. Try it a few times before you don't think that it works out. Oh, this is cool. 
Look at that. Isn't that marvelous? I'll show you the green color I use. That is cool. And it picked up some other stuff off the plate too. Oh, I am obsessed with that. This is the color that I used. This, it's like an olive color, see? But look how it looks on here. I love it. It's, um, this is the brand here. I got this at, at uh, Hobby Lobby. Anita's all-purpose acrylic paint, and it's the green, olive green. And it's by Anita's all-purpose acrylic paint. And so that exact brand is at Hobby Lobby. I just bought that recently. So let's do this one. Um, we're going to use that same gold color because that seems to go with this really well. And like I said, I have so much damn acrylic paint that if I run out of color, I'm so excited. I've been collecting craft stuff for so long that when I run out of anything, I'm happy. I know that sounds crazy, but I have so much craft crap that I need to use it. You get to the point where you just, you need to use all your stuff. You need to shop less, use more. And that's definitely me. Okay, I want to do that same, well, you know, let's do a different print. Let's try this one. Okay. Let's also go over here and just get a good impression over here. Okay, now we've been, we're at an hour or so. We'll finish up here. Time goes fast when you're jelly printing. It's so fun. I love it anyway. Okay. I think a lot of people like it because it's been one of my more popular videos. My jelly printing videos. Let's see what this looks like. <laughs> Again, just super cool. Look what that does. That gold color with that olive green. Who would think? I uh, This is so Venetian. This is so old world. This is probably one of my new favorite combos the gold with that olive green. I'm just trying to see what it looks like in the light, if you can see things, and then with the light not. Love it, obsessed, absolutely obsessed with that. That is my new fave. I'm gonna probably print out like 10 of those so I can have them in my in my um in my workings because I love it I absolutely love that um let's just take the rest of this gold here and let's do at least a half piece of the red let's see how that looks on here much noise out in front of my house. I'm assuming that it's the garbage man. I'm going to look out the window just a second. Oh, it's my husband. I don't know what the hell he's doing out there. Okay. 
Sometimes when he puts the, the garbage away, I don't know why he makes that much noise. Anyway, not that I care, but it just sounds like something's going on. Okay, anyway, look how cool that is. Love it. And I'll go ahead and keep this just like this so that if I want to collage with this, it looks more like wallpaper, right? I can. And then I have just this plain red side to collage with, or if I want to do some um, of my um, intuitive writing on here, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Intuitive writing on this side and keep this side as wallpaper. Fabulous. Um, let's clean the plate. Let's clean the plate and get some good stuff off of this plate. Um, I'm just going to use some brown and some celadon. Well, this isn't celadon. I keep saying it because of Robin McClendon because she calls it celadon. That and what do they call it? Hey, honey. I call it putty. They call it warm gray. It's not gray at all. getting on here this is looking cool look at that I'm gonna leave it like that that's cool that's a very old wall looking like it that's my roll-off sheet and then we're going to play around with this to get some um the old wall look Let's see what we get okay Clean up our plate. Let's keep going. Maybe not even look at it and just keep going. <laughs> and then whatever's left on my plate, good. There'll be a little bit of dirtiness for next time. I love, I love to leave the plate a little dirty. This is pretty cool. Look how like old wall this looks. You know what I like about this right here? This is Fab's do some um, of that intuitive writing I'd like to do. It's a nice, look how pretty. It's a nice pretty base for that. Look how gorgeous that is. This could even be pretty ripped up in collage. Or to maybe uh, do a big, huge Coco Pelli on here or a bunch of Coco Pellis. It's such a good base for that. But then it's also just good to use as collage in backgrounds because it's really pretty. So, yeah, I'm loving this now. This is very old wall, old world looking now, what I like. So now this is good to use for that. So, um, all right, I got another pile of papers. You guys, I have jelly print it myself to death this week i have so much now the next thing i want to do is a video and i'll do it in the next day or two on using your um embossing folders as texture plates isn't that a cool idea so we're gonna do a video on that this week see how those turn out i've done it before and i loved it I haven't done it for a long time but we're gonna do that and play the jelly plate again in a couple days so look forward to that video Especially if you are, um, if you're not, if you have a ton of embossing folders, which most of us do, they're not being used. If you're not using them for your, you know, making cards or doing other things, you might want to use them on your jelly plate. So we will play with that um, in the next day or two. Okay, you guys, I hope you guys like this session. Um, go to Dollar Tree, pick yourself up some of the uh, wall tiles, wall decal tiles, and, um, and start making yourself some texture boards, okay? All right, you guys, that is it for now. I will talk to you guys in the next video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd love for you to do so. If you can give this video a thumbs up, any comments or questions, leave below. Come visit me on Facebook and Instagram. Come join our group. It's called Our Magical Little Place. Um, come and you can um, just share any hobbies, crafts, whatever you do, come share it in the group. Um, also, come join us on Sundays at 2 o'clock. Uh, specific time every Sunday, two o'clock Pacific time, uh, for a craft with me and art with me. And I'm usually doing some type of mixed media. 
and everyone's just talking, having like a little party. It's really fun for a couple hours. All right. And there's giveaways too. So, all right. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.